hey guys welcome to TUC this is Abhishek out here in this lecture we are going to see how to rearrange an array using selection sort algorithm well in this in this algorithm if we have an array for uh, n elements then uh, we are going to find out which one is the smallest element out of all these elements we find out the smallest element the smallest element smallest element smallest element and it should be placed at the location a of 0 a if a is the array name then we find out the second smallest element second smallest element element and it should be placed at a of 1 and so on <coughs> so if we have an array 2 7 11 3 1 <coughs> then in this uh, in this given array the smallest element is 1 so it should be placed at the location a of 0 so the uh, after the first pass the resultant array should be 1 7 11 3 2 okay so uh, in the next iteration we'll start from the index a of 1 and from this array from this uh, location till end we uh, we we find out which one is the smallest element i mean from the complete array it should be taken as the second smallest element but when uh, we move ahead the previous subarray should be sorted so we will we'll not counter uh, for the next iteration so from this location till end this the smallest element is 2 so it should be placed at the location a of 1 so the resultant array is 1 2 11 3 7 this is how we proceed in uh, selection sort algorithm so let's write the code okay so uh, we are going to take all the inputs from keyboard and that is why i am importing java.util.scanner uh, import java.util.scanner let's create the object for the scanner class new scanner system.in now we have to take the uh, size of the array so let's put a message please enter the of the array int sz s dot next int so we have taken the size now the elements of the array so please enter the array for equals zero i smaller than s set plus plus i here in this here uh, the size of the array and this is the this is the variable for iteration okay so uh, and before that we need to create the array so int a equals new a sz 
created the sign created the array <coughs> and uh, in here I start next int so we have entered the array and now the main algorithm well, we need two loops where we'll iterate to find out the smallest element first j equals 0 so for i equals 0 i smaller than sz plus plus i inside is for this for j j equals 0 j smaller than sz plus 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 j end of j loop this is the end of i loop okay so first what we do in any variable v take the start value of the array that is a of i and we in here we at any at any instant our target is in variable v we should have the smallest element if we are starting from here if we are starting from zeroth location then j should start from the location very next to i so because we will store this value in v it will be having the value v value 2 and from this till end we are going to find out which one is the which is that value which is smaller than v means uh, is 7 uh, smaller than 2 no 11 no 3 no 1 yes so in v will record this value along with this we are going to record the location of this uh, smallest element so t so at any instant our target is to store the smallest value in the variable v and along with that we'll store the location also okay. so uh, if v is greater than uh, if v is greater than uh, a of uh, j and we have to start the iteration of j from the location very next to i so i plus 1 and if it is so v should be updated by a of j and along with this we have to record the location also of that smallest element so that we'll uh, swap these two elements So L should be updated by the location. Which location? The location of the smallest element and that is J. Location in the sense the index where the smallest element is present. So it should be updated by J. So this part is done. And now we have to do the swapping. When we'll uh, do the swapping? after the completion of the inner loop when this loop completes it its uh, iteration each time the iteration completes we have to we have to up swap the values means we have recorded the smallest element and we have recorded the the location of that smallest element and now we have to do the swapping so how do we do the swapping well this is and this is the first element and this is the last element we don't know which one is the first element we are generalizing it so if it is i and if it is l and we have the value v 
and if a is the array name then at this location this should be placed so a of i should be updated by v and a of l should be updated by a of i but i has been updated by v so in a temporary variable we are going to store the value a of i and this is going to be updated by t so <coughs> outside no not here actually here t equals a of i and a of i should be updated by v and v and a of l should be updated by t so this part is done and now let's check where is the whether the array has been sorted or not so uh, i equals 0 i smaller than s set plus plus i uh, printf uh, sorry this is java system dot log dot println a of i Well, we are going to get some uh, unwanted result. Some weird kind of output we are getting. Let's check. Java C. symbol stay hmm five so seven six five six seven six four one eight C we are not getting the proper result. Why? It's because if this condition goes false, then also the previous value of i is going to be updated. Okay, so we should put a condition that this swap this swap should be done only when v is going to be changed. Initially, we have uh, initially the value of v and a of i both are same. So let's put a condition over here that this swap should be done if if a of v not equal to a of i. That means this swap should be done only when we have found some different smallest element. If it is not so, then the value v the means the the value a of the value which is uh, which is uh, present on the ith location is already the smallest element for the for the present array present sub array i should say S that is why i have put the condition and i think it's going to work let's look beautiful Five. The elements are seven, six, four, one, eight, seven, six, four, one, eight. One is the smallest element. Second smallest element is four. Third smallest element is six. 
fourth smallest element is 7 and the largest element is 8 so this is how we have done so in this algorithm the main fundamental is at any point of time we will find out the smallest element and this value this variable v it is responsible to hold the smallest element and this this uh, variable l variable l is responsible to hold the location of the smallest element and when the content of the v of the variable v changes we swap the value v with the ith location and uh, the complexity of this algorithm as we are seeing we are using two loops uh, one is the outer loop another is the inner loop the complexity of this algorithm should be order of n order of n squared and uh, this is how we could do uh, thank you gentlemen god bless